Yeah. Probably went through a little bit, I'm sure. Right down the middle? Yeah, that's fine. There it is. Perfect. Let's see how this goes. I'm trying to slide this thing off. There it is. Let's get this thing unboxed, get it all put together. You guys already know what it is. I'm pumped on this thing. Bought this thing used. The guy lived in Idaho. Got it shipped here to New York. Hopefully everything's there. This is the moment of truth. See what this thing looks like. Finally have one of these Cooper Rangers. This thing is sick. Had my eye on these things for years now. Shout out to Mike for packaging this thing super good with foam, wrapping it in towels. Had this thing screwed in perfect so it's not going anywhere. He definitely went above and beyond to make sure this thing got to me safe. Let's get these bars put on, charge this thing up. I'm gonna do a couple little modifications first. Take off this ugly fender, do a couple little things to make it my own. There's really not much to it. Take this top off. Get these snug down for now. Get it off the pallet, get it on a stand. Should come off now. All right, I'm gonna get the bars adjusted, figure out this cable management, probably take this off, fender off. It's kind of just sitting on there, zip tied. I think this back fender's kind of ugly. I'm just gonna take it off for now. Maybe make a custom one, like cut around, so I still have a little bit of a fender. Then we'll charge it up, and then I'll kind of go over what this thing even is. A lot of you probably haven't even seen or heard of Kuberg, the Kuberg Ranger. I sold my Kuberg Freerider. Super rare and super hard to find. This is supposed to be the best e-bike on the market. This is the 14 kilowatt version, and it's supposed to be like the best thing out compared to the Suron. Let's get this thing dialed in. All right, while this thing charges up, just took the fender off. Definitely think I have to put something on there so it's not spraying completely up in the motor and shock and everything up in here and the sprockets. So luckily with all these pedal e-bikes that I'm getting for brand deals, I have all these random fenders. Surprisingly, it kind of matches up to what came on the Kuberg, so. It's not gonna be perfect, but it'll work. Boom. All right, we're good to go. All right, so this is the new or new to me Cooper Ranger. A lot of you have probably seen it from maybe Josh Hill. But these things aren't super popular like the Suron, and not a lot of people really have them. So it's like a mixture of e-bike, scooter, trials bike, with the base plate foot peg kind of thing they got going on. The thing's super unique. This is the 14 kilowatt highest version with the normal 24 amp hour battery. You have a double pack, which is 48, which will get you obviously double the range, which I'm probably gonna upgrade to here soon. So the range in the full power mode is between 19 and 38 miles and then a charge time of two hours so it's not too bad and then a top speed of 50 miles an hour in mode three i think the fit and finish is way better than the saran it has better components everything just seems way more like and well built maybe because the saran's from china and this is built czech republic i believe overall it just has better components on it from the hydraulic disc brakes the suspension to the rims they put on here having rim locks and them being a lot beefier after now having the kuberg free rider now the ranger and the saran i can easily say that the ranger now takes the number one spot based on the power which you'll see the way the bike feels it's just super comfortable like, it was just really thought out with the base plate and the different tire sizing and the way you actually ride the bike you can really tell they did a lot of testing they have this sweet dropper post which is like the mountain bikes where you press the lever pushes the seat down push it it comes back up the seat doesn't get in the way when you're hitting jumps so before i load this up to go ride like i announced in the first ride video on this 2022 yz125 I'm giving this thing away. Every $5 spent gives you one entry on my website. Top link in the description to the site. Don't miss your opportunity to win this sick 125. But you'll see more content on this thing soon. This thing is sick. All the main details are in the last video or on my Instagram if you want to check that out. All right, guys. Quickly, Bye. I want to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Best Poke Post. Let's see what they sent over here. Best Poke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes with top shelf goods from under the radar brands. So it's free to join. And every month, they introduce their members to new products from outdoor gear, home and kitchen goods, clothing. First thing is this cold brew coffee maker. Can't start my morning without a coffee, so this will save me a bunch of time. Got this sick new cooler bag so I can take drinks on the go. And I got a nice compact chair for when I go to the track. Took me two seconds to set up. Being a pretty small chair, it's actually really comfy. So I bring it to the track, on the beach, this thing's perfect. So each box has around $70 in value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. And something that's cool is 90% of the product come from small businesses. And a lot of them being in the US, which is pretty cool. So you only pay for what you want. You'll get a box assigned to you each month based on the quiz. You take one signing up. And 
before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes in the box to decide whether you like it. So you can keep it, swap it out for a different box, or just skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. So right now, you can get 20% off your first box by clicking the link in my description and entering the code on the screen right here at checkout, or just using the link on the screen right here. Once again, thank you to Best Book Post for sponsoring this video, and we'll get into the rest of the vlog. It has a uh, button right here that kind of drags. It's almost like a brake. You don't have to use the brakes. You just hold it down and it actually recharges the battery as you're holding down the button. Get ripping, hold this button down and it just slows the bike down, charges it and you don't have to use the brakes and wear out your brake pads. Try and hit this little grass jump. This thing is so much fun. Thing rips. Let's put the seat down so it's not in the way. Power's like perfect. There is one negative. The kickstand is a little bit not janky it just needs to be cut down a tad because the bike is like straight up so it tends to fall over just got to make sure the bars are turned and it has this dual chain drive system which i've read on the forums is not that good you always have to adjust the tension and chain can slip off or the chain wears out quick the sprocket wears out quick we'll see as time goes on how this thing holds up and how much stuff i got to change out love the positioning when you're standing you're perfectly in line with the bars coming from a tall person it's kind of hard to be comfortable on these kind of mini bikes or kids bikes basically just super comfortable I thought I was going down there for a second when I put it down. Tires are kind of low on air. The sidewall kind of folded over itself when I put it down. Definitely getting poison ivy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna pop a tire for sure. This looks kind of cool. Be able to make it a little jump, this little rock. Works pretty good. I'll tell you what though, this rotor must be a little bit bent. Keeps rubbing on the brake pad every time, it's squeaking. I gotta take that off and try and straighten it out. I think the chain already loosened up significantly. Now that I bought it from, barely rode it. Definitely wasn't that loose when I left. Well, I 
just came here to my property to rip this thing around, try it on the dirt jumps that I built a few months ago. That is not happening today. They need a lot of work. Look at how much they're overgrown. I'm gonna have to bring the weed whacker out here and fix these things up. I haven't been out here in probably two months. Flashback to then when I actually built these things. I'm sure they're now super packed in and good to go, but they have about three to five feet of grass on them. It's gonna probably take hours of work. I really need a tractor with a brush hog to do all this. The rest of the field is now planted with corn. Probably 20 acres is all corn right now. All right, so much for that. Ugh. Well, we might as well have a little bit of fun at least while we're here. Time to fix this thing up, tighten up the chain, and uh, try and fix this brake because it's super annoying. So I rode for a consistent probably hour. We'll see where the battery's at. Sitting at about just under 50%, so it's honestly not too bad. I was pretty heavy on the throttle too. So I'd say you could safely get an hour and a half like full throttle ripping pretty good, and then maybe two hours just cruising around. It's pretty comparable to a stock Suron with the stock battery. But regardless, let me know your thoughts on this new Kuberg in the comments. Do you like it better than the Suron? I think it looks the best when the seat's actually down. When the seat's up, it does look a little bit goofy. Regardless, this thing's a blast to ride, and I'm so pumped I finally have one. So expect a bunch of content to come comparing it to the Suron. I'm gonna take it to all the local trails, all those dirt jumps, a bunch of stuff to come. If you guys are new and you wanna see that, make sure you're subscribed. Like I said in the beginning of the video, don't miss out on your opportunity to win this 2022 YZ125. Top link in the description to my website. Every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing. It ends in one month, so you'll also be seeing some more content with this here soon. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.